Hi, welcome to this open level improv class. I'm going to be pulling from uh, some concepts that have come out of Gracie and my exploration with floor work. I'm going to be choosing to translate these tasks all on the floor, but you can choose to stand up and explore them standing at any time if you would like to. All of these things can totally be translated into standing work and to other forms. If you are newer to improvisation, a quick note that um, the point of this is for you to interpret my words however you would like. It's to explore. Um, it is not to create specific forms or do things correctly. So I, in fact, would say you would never need to look at me as long as you can hear me because however you inter you're interpreting my words is correct, okay? Um, we're going to start, I'm going to start on the floor. You can start wherever you'd like to. Um, and I'm first going to just explore this idea of malleable hands. So perhaps bringing the hands to the floor and just explore how they can shift shape, almost like they're liquid. Feeling that they kind of can't be tied down or anchored down. They have softness and articulation. And then you can start to feel what that is like when you're bearing some weight so that maybe even though I have some weight in my hands, they don't become stagnant or uh, heavy, but they can remain liquid like water, strong and powerful, but malleable. And then if hands do come off the floor, exploring what that malleability is like in the air. Maybe this exploration takes you closer to the floor through things that resemble rolls. Noticing the different surfaces of the hands interacting with the floor. And again, for this improv, trying to attach a more fluid, ever-changing, articulate quality to the hands. And then as you're doing that, I'm going to add on another task, which is just this forearm fold. So the creasing of the elbows, I'm going to kind of oil that up and play with that idea. And once I add that to my hands so that the hands aren't necessarily stagnant, what does that look like? Again, when, when the hands and the forearms come out of the floor and they're non-weight bearing, how do these ideas translate?